but uh, today we get to understand how we are telling our own stories. Over the years, um, the West has spoken and they've told different stories about our own history. But today, we're looking into one museum that has come to turn it around and tell our story uh, the way that we know it, the way that we experienced it. Uh, the Abewa Bisa Museum, which is one that uh, was recently established to help us as Africans. We'll get deeper into it. Mr. Ekunu Dake, who is the Chief Executive of Heritage Development and a member of Board of Trustees for Bisa Abewa Museum, is here this morning. You're welcome to TV3 New Day. Thank Dane. you very much. Thank you very much. Good mm. to see you finally. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have you. Yes. I love history and I love to learn about, you know, the history of people, the culture of people and all of that. But before we even get into the main, you know, uh, topic for this morning, what does Bisa Abewa mean? Well, Bisa Abewa um, just means, you know, ask the old lady. Just oh, okay. Ask the old lady. Um, it's, it's, um, it's supposed to emphasize the important place of the old lady okay. as an epiphenom of wisdom. Oh. And um, you know, when there are when there are issues related to, you know, discussions and sometimes conflicts, mm. we say, oh, let's go and ask the old lady. Yes, we that's say true. That, you know, euphemistically. Um, and that refers to also, you know, under under underscores the importance of woman. The yeah. woman. Um, and therefore um, I think that um, the initiator of the museum mm. was um, Kwawansa, yeah. um, the eminent um, cinematographer, the yeah. legend in his own right, thought that he would give credence to that okay. and, and use the museum as a metaphor okay. um, to, um, to, to, to emphasize the important role that women play mm. you know, in, in nationhood and in mm. development generally. Um, so he, 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 he uses that. And I, I think that is an important point to make. Mm. So he calls it Bisa Abewa, Abewa. Museum. You know, um, you know the Fantis pronounce it Abewa. 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 You know, many other I can't speak in people who call it Abewa, mm. right? Yeah, but it's Bisa Abewa. So Museum. he chooses the woman over the man. Well, I, I would not say so. I think okay. that he affirms the important role of a woman. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, the issue of um, gender is important. Yeah, indeed. Gender, whether male or female. Yeah. Uh, we all have complementary roles that we exactly. play. Exactly. But, you know, um, we always also are very clear okay. that we need to affirm and assert the position of the woman just because w women have not, um, have been, have been... Um, pushed to the side. Not pushed, they have been discriminated <laughs> against. I think you should say it more positively. Yes, that, that's true. I think they have been, yes. have been discriminated against, against. you know, um, over the years. Mm. And, and because of the, just the male factor, mm. you know, the whole issue of the partner. And, and that, and that everything is about man, man, exactly, man, man, exactly. Man, man. Vocabulary has man, man, yeah. you, know, you know, human, yeah. everything, man. And the woman is not appreciated <laughs> enough, that's true. I brought it up because of, the, the, you know, the gender discussions that we've been having okay. uh, lately. Okay. But back to the subject, what's exactly triggered, you know, the establishment of this museum? I know that the National Museum is no longer, you know, in operations for the fact that they are, um, under renovation, and they've been under renovation for quite some time now. Uh, so, but what exactly triggered this? I'm sure there's something more that got you to establish this, and it's not it's not in Accra; it's uh, in the western region, I believe. Second Itakadi. Second Itakadi, yeah, exactly. In a, in a suburb called Nkontompo. Nkontompo. That's the suburb. I tried not to pronounce it because I wasn't sure I'll get it right. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so in yeah. What 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 triggered you know well, um, this? Well, I must say that we, we need to celebrate the initiator of this, who is Kwan Sas, I've mentioned. Mm. Um, he's been a man of, you know, of immense passion um, as far as African history and culture is concerned. Mm. And um, he's been, you know, he lives it on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. I mean, you know, he celebrated works, you know, Heritage Africa, exactly. you know, Library in Africa, and, yeah. and many yeah. others. So yeah. if, and if he espouses that important role that Africans have played you know, in development and, mm. and contributed towards civilization. Okay. So that has been a major impulse and motive, you know, for his intervention, okay. you know, in the cultural realm. So he's, he's lived this idea and passion for over 40 years and has been collecting objects, has been collecting objects and um, different kinds of artifacts and so on that have impacted history. Mm. Events, personalities, mm. and you have 
this very unique museum, yeah. arguably the biggest Pan-African type museum yeah. on the continent. Um, Great. Yes, over more over 2,000 objects. Wow. Life size of different kinds of sizes. Amazing. Make, absolutely, make from sculptural work, cement, mm. clay, wood, their photographs, mm. yes, their paintings, their audiovisual representations, effects. Wow. It's a unique interactive museum located in Nkontumpo in the second day, Takrade. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and he's been working on this for 40, he's been collecting things, he's been carrying things from different parts of Africa, you know. Wow, who, oh, absolutely. Sometimes oh, wow. as hand luggage so heavy. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, and, and that has, it has really, you know, had an effect on his health, you know. So, you see that this is a man who has, and really, he's done this devotedly. Um, why? Because... He recognizes that Africa has gone through a certain sojourn in respect of history, mm. um, particularly in our relation with Europe, okay. and, and of course with the Americas. Yeah. Um, trace all the way back from slavery, okay. which was 300 years of trade in human beings. 300, 300 years. People, Even three years is a lot. People don't recognize that that was 300 100. years, which was a dominant form of trade mm. and relations, international relations, mm. you know, involving the sale of, you know, Africans, yeah. you know, and so on. And coupled of that is another 200 years of colonialization, yeah. you know, and yeah. of course this current period of what we call typically neo-colonialization. Yeah. So Africa has gone through quite a lot. Mm. So what he tried to do is to use the museum to celebrate this indomitable spirit mm. of the African. Okay. Um, which has gone through all this. Okay. And he uses different kinds of images on the continent and the diaspora, okay. events, personalities okay. and different kinds of developments that have taken place. Right. And it's a thematic museum and you need to see it because okay. when I say that it's unique, the th it's thematic. In what sense? How? Thematic in the sense that it celebrates, for example, our struggle for independence. Okay, so that's one aspect of one it. One aspect of it. Mm -hmm. it, ce it celebrates also the, the critical role that people's and their leaders played in Africa. Okay. So he represents all that. Okay, not just Ghana, but across the across continent. Africa. Continent, he, yeah. Of course. Then he goes to the Pan African world mm. and look at all the important, you know, contributions that have been made by Africans, and not only in Africa, not only in America, okay. but in the diaspora, in the Pan African world. Okay. You know, so he does that, and then he looks at the import, uh, important role of women. So there's a whole section ah, on beautiful. women, and there's a section on arts. Some people are involved in music, yes. drama, paintings, visual arts, and so on. Dating he all the all, way back to absolutely. You can. He goes as far as, as possible to prehistory, but more importantly, he, he looks at a period of slavery, colonialism, mm. and of course, the contemporary world mm. today. So that's what he does, um, using, you know, this, using just images. Okay, all with the fundamental purpose of what? Educating us as Africans to embrace our, our roots? Well, I think that first and foremost is to preserve and promote our heritage. Okay. okay. That is fundamental okay. to me. That we need that we have a heritage yeah. which which identifies us. Mm. You know, which uniquely says that these are the type of people we are. Yeah. In harmony and sometimes in contention with other identities across the world. Mm. So he makes that point very forcefully. You know, secondly, is the important place of using arts and culture yes. as a conversation mm. to understand ourselves mm. so he does that very creatively and uniquely so as, as, as an artist and yeah. as a filmmaker as a cultural worker yeah and then the the other point was that is that he uses it as a major form of education okay so Bisabriwa museum is is a place that when you go mm -hmm. you would immediately begin to learn about yourself right or who you are yeah you immediately begin to affirm your place as a contributor to civilization. Mm. Because sometimes we deny ourselves that, that 
we contribute to civilization yeah. and we look down upon ourselves. ourselves you know and it creates a lack of confidence in our people particularly yeah. in the younger generation who begin to look on the out to the outside yes. as a place of redemption a point of and they, all the images mm. and so on that we see that and true. so on that is so true. he uses bisabriwa to, to begin to rekindle that beautiful you know to restore yeah. in us mm. the pride yeah that we are african people in our own right who have contributed to civilization yes economically Greatly. politically yes. socially yes. culturally you know spiritually and so on so he does that that is essentially the pith that is essentially the thematic thrust Ooh. of bisabiwa and mm. you need to see it i mean it, 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 yes, it opened yes. it opened was it was opened by the first lady uh, okay yeah uh, mrs uh, rebecca Kufuado on the 30th of July is now being opened officially to the public tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Okay, okay. So it's at in Kontompo. At in Kontompo, in Second Data Kradi. Second Data Kradi, yes, okay. Yeah. So it's been opened officially um, uh, today, uh, okay. tomorrow. Today, the street in front of the museum is being named Bista Abiwa Street. Oh. And you can Google map it, you can Google locate yes. it. Yes, you know, we'll find Bista Abiwa. Uh, uh, so, so it's easy to find. Oh, very easy Wherever to find. Wherever you find yourself, you can easily get to that point. Absolutely. And it's open to the public as well. It's open to the public. Ooh. Yes, it's open public you don't have to pay much this to get good. to be mm. no at all i mean you don't have to pay much it's five cities for for oh, students eh. oh okay 10 cities for students and 30 cities for the public for the public and for the wealth of information that is in there and the other thing about bisabira it is visually interactive mm. the audio visual representation is a filmmaker yes so exactly. the, the important point of sound yes of images yes you know of of of, of visuals yes you know and you know, you have been led into an interactive space yeah. that allows you to relate to yourself exactly historically to the present and of course in the future. So it's 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 a it's a full hub that transforms you as you go right through it. It is as indicated as indicated arguably the biggest mm. Pan African museum on the continent. On the continent. It is. And it rivals many museums mm. across the world. You know of this nature yeah you know and, and 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 for us particularly for us young people yes we find it we are young people we are young people we are young people, <laughs> young people yeah. you know, we find it eliminating you yeah know, that you know someone will offer this to africa to ghana first to africa and to the world and then to the world yes. and as it's a year of return as well i'm sure that would have a number of people actually troop in tomorrow to learn a thing or two about our history i'm particularly excited about the fact that this has been set up so that we learn from ourselves and you know the fact that an african actually went around collecting all these items getting our you know information it's a good one so tomorrow at Nkontumpo Sekendi mm -hmm. Takradi the Bisa Abewa museum will be opening and so if you find yourself around that area or you do like to travel, yeah. why not go and, you know, learn yeah. a thing And let me also two. say very quickly, like, many of the sculpture pieces were made by Ghanaians. Okay. Yeah, they okay. were made by, by Ghanaians, by young people who life-size, you know, objects and, okay. so on, and so on, yes. Yeah, we have the capacity to, to, to do the same. We are, we are artists in our own right. Thank you so much, um, the Chief Executive of Heritage Development and Member of Board of Trustees of Bisa Abewa Museum, Mr. Akunu. Dake. You got, it Ekunu. Right. you got it right. Akunu. Akunu. Dake. Dake. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on TV3 New Day. We